morning guys, welcome to Saturday. How did you guys drink two jugs of water in one night? Doesn't make sense. Okay, so Sophie's duck can do a trick. <laughs> Every morning she brings him out and she just puts him on the grass and he just waddles his little butt down to his friends. She, he might not come today because I'm standing here. Oh, he's going back to her. There he goes. As soon as I moved out of the way, he said, I'm coming, friends. He's right where he belongs now. <laughs> one of these, I've been playing this game on the farm lately. One of these things just doesn't belong here. It's from Sesame Street when I was growing up. Can you tell which thing just doesn't belong? <laughs> it's the duck. Today, uh, we are gonna reassess our rooster situation and- Is the chicken that's too thick to do anything? That's, that's the chicken? Right. She's not fat. She tried to run across the road. Gabby honked at her and she didn't go any faster. So, she's a seasoned chicken. She doesn't care. Anyway, uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today is Saturday. We're headed out to do some Saturday shopping and then we have a lot to do on the farm today because we might be getting ready for a new horse and we have to set up a stall for our goat who's gonna have a baby soon. Okay, so, oh gosh, our car is a mess. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you guys something that I got at the dollar store that is so cool. If I can find it, I think it's in here. Okay, so, I got a bunch of these bottles. They're just like mason jars with a mason jar lid, but they have measurements on the side. I got them for my milk. I've, these are in my cart for Amazon, and they're like $30 for four, and these were $1.50. I love them. So much has changed already in a year in this farm. We're just coming on to the spring and summer season. We moved here in the summer last year, July 4th, I think we moved here. So much is changing. I love this view. I love to look out, see all the chickens, although you can't see them all right now. They're all off somewhere. But see all the chickens, see the horses out there. That just makes me so happy. But the chickens are going in the backfield hopefully this weekend. And Sam is getting that all made into an outdoor arena. <laughs> but I love to just look and watch them all run. It's like little prehistoric animals. <laughs> and I love to be able to watch the horses, but from now on, this summer forward, we're not gonna be able to just sit here and watch them. They're gonna be in a whole different area. <laughs> I love how she pushes stuff. As much as Posey loves running with Ellie, she, <laughs> she's so funny. She doesn't have like, she doesn't have that same personality. Like she doesn't understand the dogs that much. She doesn't understand why Ellie's like aggressive with her. But by aggressive, I just mean like Ellie wants to play and, and bark and do all that kind of stuff. See? And Posey doesn't understand it, but she doesn't get upset by it. So Sam brought home another, Sam got another broom. And I'm hoping it works good. Oh, it works. I like these cheap brooms because they grip the ground. Where these corn stalk brooms just kind of sweep it. Those ones kind of grip the ground. I don't know. So today I'm going to clean everybody's water buckets and get everything freshened up. I already did their stalls this morning. I want to just get like everything and do a deep cleaning. And then today I want to set up something for Rosie who's going to have a baby in a week. A week from Tuesday she's due. 150 days. So I decided like I've been wondering what the heck am I going to use this? little stall here for like it's just this tiny little stall has this weird door i'm gonna clean it all out and i'm gonna make it into a kidding stall a lot of the people that i know have little tiny stalls for kidding stalls it's like cozy it keeps the mom and the baby close together and they get to know each other before they go outside like they get used to each other's smells the baby learns who mom is before they get released to the whole herd and I've been using big, huge stalls for that, but basically I'm kind of out of stalls right now. So I was thinking this is the perfect size for a kidding stall. And I can put some lights in here and just make it super cute. And I'm excited to do it. So Sam's gonna, Sam went with Gabby to get coffee, even though Gabby can go on her own now. 
Um, and then he's gonna come back and he's gonna help me. Come here, Piggy, 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 come on! Come on, Piggy, come on! Come on! Run before the goats come, come on, come on, come on, come on! So Sam put this uh, over one of the gates to keep the goats in the goat area and they tore it off. The goats tore this completely off. So he fixed it with some other kind of fencing and what he's gonna use with this fence is he's going to maybe take these two bars off but make it open here. Like, isn't that so cool? If he opens that up so that the goats and the baby goats can look out, that would be just so much cuter. I've also seen how people use this to make feeders and I don't know if Sam will be able to figure it out, but I'm gonna see if he can make like a little wall feeder. I'm gonna get it all cleaned up and then I'll show you guys when I'm done. So these are all my feed pans. I clean them every single week. Uh, in the winter, I take them up to the house. In the summer, I do it down here, but at least every couple of weeks, every three weeks, I clean them in the house in the summer too because then I can use hot water, get some cleaner. I like to use in my kidding area for water when the babies are born because babies, babies can actually drown in a bucket of water, newborn baby goat. So I like to have like a shallow bucket of water and it also helps that, it also helps so that they can drink out of it. Still waiting for Sam. I'm getting everything cleaned out. He's gonna have to get rid of these skids. He put them in here for the grain. Usually I go to the top part of the barn through the barnyard, but it's pouring rain outside. So, ugh, we're gonna go this way. Oh, I feel rain. I haven't been up here in a long time. This gives me so much peace though. Everything about being on this farm gives me peace. This is what I use for my goats. I put it in their food whenever something stressful is gonna happen to prevent them from having like a worm overload or a parasite overload. I need to fill up my bucket. Oh, actually look at this. This, is that, does this have smaller holes than the stuff down there? This is what I want them to make my feeder out of, I think, because it looks like it's smaller. Definitely smaller holes. Got my bag of stuff. And now I have to go back down there. <laughs> if you're afraid of heights, don't stand where I'm standing. Well, hello, Posy Pig. Oh, hello. Hi, you're all dirty. <laughs> Am I? I know, I've been working hard. Wow. Thanks for bringing some shavings down. So it's pouring rain today. The girls are chilling. Look at, I'm, I'm a ghost. The girls are chilling, enjoying their day, and Sam and I are trying to get some work done that we want to get done. Like, this has been the rainiest spring ever. Has this been the rainiest spring ever? No, that spring was bad. She's in the bag. <laughs> uh, this is all garbage. Clearly she knows how to get up there. <laughs> she likes being in the barn now. Yeah, she's Yeah, picky. <laughs> You know that nursery rhyme though? This little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef, and then the last little piggy cried, wee, 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 all the way home. That's her, she's always running. Wee, 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 all the way home. All right, so all the little babies will be able to see outside. It's attached this to the wall and have a bottom. Yeah, so that's what I want. Or I just... even have it on the floor. Yeah, and then. Well, yeah, you don't want them to climb on it. Also. Yeah. That's all I want. I just want that. But I have another one up there that has smaller holes because it'll waste less hay. That's all I want. Do you want me to go get it for you? You can make that now? Or you still no, need staples? I'll need those staples so they don't come up. Are you going to go get them now? So I don't know if you guys can see, but I found a hole where raccoons can get in. But they couldn't have gotten into here though. But so they yeah. came through the door. Yeah, they probably did come through the door, but I want that blocked off because I don't want anything hurting my babies. Oh. You see it? Just put a piece of wood there. Yeah, and there's a big yeah. piece of wood right up there. And is there any way that we could run lighting in here? Because when we do, like, the when she's giving birth and stuff, yeah, I'd like it. kind of small for that. No, it's a perfect area. This yeah, is bigger than a lot of people have. Like, it's it's a big room. It's like, usually. What are you doing hiding there? Uh-oh. The chicken came in. Uh-oh. <laughs> the rooster. Uh, Sophie's beloved rooster. You better run. Are they both roosters? No, that's a hen. And That's... the goat is behind the door. There's a goat over there. Oh, there's a goat over here behind the door. And then Sophie's little baby Winston sleeps inside that thing because I saw him come out a couple of times. But they're like, hey, what's happening down here? It's raining, I'd like to go someplace. They followed me. Did they? 
Oh. Sophie loves that little hen, that little tiny one there. But she also loves that rooster, or that hen too. They're like, what in the world? This is the first time that the chickens have actually like started infiltrating the goat area. <laughs> She's like, I like it in here. <laughs> All right, I might go get those. Staples. Okay. All right, so Sam's gonna go get proper staples so that he can make this for me. I'm gonna get better um, stuff so that you can make the feeder for me. And then we'll catch up with you guys in a little bit and we'll show you the finished product. Okay, here is our new birthing suite, our new kidding suite. So I have an, uh, an extension cord there so that Sam can put lighting in. He hasn't done that yet, but I moved my kidding kit over here. So everything I need, he has to put a latch on here like this so that we keep them in, but this is it. He put this on here so they can't get out, but they can see out. Dun, 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 dun. So he built a little thing there. You can't even see it, but it holds hay. And then when they try and pull it out, only little bits come out at a time because the holes are tiny. Put it down to the ground, all the way to the ground so that nobody could get under it and put it up high enough that nobody could get in it. Lots of shavings. I put three bags of shavings in here. Rosie will be so comfortable. Everything is so fresh and clean. I love it. What do you guys think? Um, he's gonna get a hook so that I can hang a water thing, but for now I just have a thing, that there. Also, I need, uh... <laughs> She's like, yes, it's for me, I love it! <laughs> Do you love it, Posey? That's so funny. First day of spring And I just wanna sing to everything that's moving, every single little thing. To them birds flying free, fish in the sea, flowers and trees, every little bumblebee. I want to sing. Kids playing hoops, going loop de loop. The rainbow colored bouncy balls and their ice cream scoops. Got my shoes in my hand and my feet in the sand. I got 20 ducklings in a row, like a little marching band. weird story though when I was sitting here the goat the Rocky was laying here and a little chicken came and climbed right in <laughs> behind him and laid wait is this where they're laying eggs there's two eggs in here she only laid one how could one chicken lay two eggs oh my gosh you guys I knew we were missing eggs what in the world <laughs> what so that's why the chickens have been coming in here. And then lastly, I took my kitten kit out of this area. So this area is just for goats now. Oh shoot, I need to take that jungle gym out of there because Tilly jumped out of there this morning and was running around the barn before I came down. So that's it. May not seem like it, but that was a lot of work today. Super fun day though, I love that kind of stuff. Guess where I found, I found the eggs, missing eggs. Rocky's stall under the feeder. What? They've been in there now? Yep, that's where they lay now, watch. That's why we saw them there. Yep, that's why they're going down there. We would never have found them, except for I saw one go in there. Don't you know that you're beautiful? 